What is up guys? It is Farzy here and today I'm going to teach you guys how to build a bamboo XP farm in Minecraft and a very simple one at that. So you'll see this uses bamboo and cacti. Now it's very simple. Basically you got bamboo being chopped down by a piston that goes into a furnace. On the other side, the cacti gets chopped down by these blocks and glass and goes into the furnace as well. You go down here, the blocks are waiting for you, you take them out while they're cooking infinitely and you get free XP. Now I must say, this is not super efficient, you're not going to get to level 50 by doing this consistently unless you have a lot of free time on your hands, but the reason this farm is so good is because in most farms the XP sits on the ground and will eventually despawn if you're not sitting there ready to pick it up. This farm, it's stored in a furnace, so you can go somewhere else in your world, build things, do your day-to-day -day stuff in Minecraft, and come back here to quickly grab a stack of XP on the go. So, it's kind of like an on-the-go XP farm, and it's not even like an AFK thing. You can go and do your own stuff. But now that you know the premise, let's teach you guys how to build it. Alright guys, you will need everything I have in my hand right now, plus one water bucket and plus two signs, okay? So everything I'm holding, get that, plus one water bucket and two signs. So now, to start this, you're going to place down a building block of your choice. I'm using stone brick. Now, behind that, place one, two. Now, on this block here, put down a piston facing yourself like so. Go behind this, and then place an observer block. So the red dot is behind you, and the face is with the piston face, like so. Go on this back block here, place down a piece of redstone. Now this is simply a little observation block. Tell them the piston, chop down the bamboo, and it gets to the block. So it works pretty well. Now what you're gonna do now is obviously place down a piece of bamboo, and you're gonna place down a hopper right in front of it, which you can connect to a furnace. So place a furnace down in front of that, hopper like that, and boom, that is the basic start of this build. Now you can see the bamboo is not really going into the hopper. So to fix this, go on the sides and place down three high walls out of your building blocks, just like this. Now go one above the hopper or the observer, you're going to go one and two. That way it can't go on top. You can get rid of the back block if you'd like. All you need is this block. Now we're going to go to these two highest blocks at the end in the middle and do two glass panes. Now the bamboo will simply hit this glass and go into the hopper and go into the furnace. So that's the bamboo part. Now let's do the cacti part. Okay, so the premise of this is to put a hopper on top of of the furnace. That's because to access this part of the furnace, the hopper needs to be on top. So do that, make it feed into the furnace. Now what we're simply gonna do is make a little pathway to where the cacti is gonna go. If you don't have it already, get a piece of sand for your cacti. I didn't think about that, but you will need that. So build maybe like three or four blocks away. I'll just do four. Place down a piece of sand and then put down a cactus. Now, here's how you break cacti, all right? You can cap it for now, but you break cacti by putting blocks around the second part of the cactus. So when it grows, that second block, this right here, I can't even place it because it'll break, but where the stone brick is now, that will chop off if there's blocks near it. So when the cacti grows, it'll instantly break and fall off. So now make a platform around here just so the cacti doesn't fall off the whole thing. Now make some walls around this like so. So what you're seeing now is basically we're going to have the cacti fall in there and actually go somewhere. Now you could do it this way where you put the water down here or on the sides, but you'll still have some loss. So I think the best way to do it is to break off one more in the back and do it like this so it comes at like, a, like an angle on each side. But before you do that, go in front and place down some signs so it goes into the hopper. So continue the pathway, make sure it goes right in there. Then right here, make sure it won't leave. So I'll do like a sign there and like a sign here. So that way it's going to stop here and it will go right into the hopper. So let's do a test, put the water down, 
and boom you see the cacti goes right into that hopper if you want to be super safe you can place more blocks here to totally block it off but it really is up to you you see that actually was a mistake right there hmm if that happens i guess just simply replace the water one more in front would that do it that will do it there you go okay we're problem solving now and that should be it so now you can dig under to where the furnace is you can put some sort of like stone brick pathway if you like i'm just gonna break it out like so and boom we can grab our xp out of it once again give it some time it's not super super efficient but if you come stop this thing like every couple minecraft days you'll surely get some needed xp so on that note guys i hope you enjoy make sure to like subscribe do all the good stuff and i'll talk to you guys next time so until then goodbye